rush to search defendants for so few people. You told me the soldiers you lost were your best. You told me the soldiers you lost were your best. Vital to retaking the city. Do you think it's foolish? Not at all. Then why would I? You have the look of... Wolves. They've surrounded someone. Must be careful. foolish to search defendants for so few people. You told me the soldiers you lost were your best. Vital to retaking the city. You think it's foolish? Not at all. Then why would I? You have the look of one who does well with solitude. You're alone, a wanderer. It may be you think of soldiers as war fodder and little else. But these warriors are more than a blade and shield. They are my family, nothing short. I've lost a city this week. I will not lose them too. I understand. And if your people... Understand. And if your people yet live, you will find them. Have a look, Sunan. Saxons surrounding that old hut. There may be Danes trapped inside. This place is heavily right. guarded. Tire yourself out! Weak little puppies! Can't even open one barricaded door! You rot in hell when we're done with you! You'll suck my toes when I'm standing on your head! <gasps> That's beer enough for sure. God damn you! My hands <gasps> the wall, I'd still know. Yeah. 
I heard someone sweeping the hearth outside. We handle it just fine. Thinking of starting a new town, in fact. This house being our first. Birna, I pitched a camp nearby, under a burning beacon. We'll meet you there when I've found the others. Thank you, Soma. And you as well, Sambi. We'll head to the camp now. I'll have everyone singing songs and dancing jigs by the time you get back. Show me what lies ahead. Birna has a sunny way. I tell you, Birna... This longboat is Birna's, I think. All scraped and bashed, it's hard to tell. held captive. Be my eyes soon. Lord Wigman will see you hanged from the tree in the city square. Good hold! Let's go! 
free me. I'm no use here, not with the wind cut from my sails. Ah, thank if you, you would my be friend. so kind. I've had quite the day. Look through the fog, leave. Follow the beacons. Our camp is at its base. We'll return when we've found the others. We'll head straight to the camp and see that everyone's ship shape when you return. Show me. I cannot. Vierna is like a grapevine, curly and hard to predict, while leaves like a woodbeam, sturdy, straightforward. Vierna has a genius for tactics, sees well ahead of things. Leaf deals with what's just there before him, practical in all ways. Both have helped me find my footing in desperate times. It's important to keep those who disagree with you close, as family. What do you see, Sunan? Wolves. They've surrounded someone. Must be careful. What happened here? Saxons chased me into the fog, ran me smack into a nest of bandits. But Freya was on it. Ran me smack into a nest of bandits. Afraid of my son. When I saw them, they saw me. Are you the only one of your crew left standing? I am. I'm hardly standing myself. But with the blessings of Odin and Freya, they'll be feasting well with the gods. We have a camp nearby, Galen. I'll take you there myself. Eivor, join us when you're ready.
Sing us a song. Look Russian. there! Enemy camp, Babel! The beacon has drawn the last of my soldiers. By tomorrow our strength will have returned, and we can retake our city. I have not yet spoken to Leif, Birna, and Galen about this. After my missteps, I worry what they must think of me. It doesn't matter. What matters is how you lead them forward from this point on. By Thor's hammer, I am glad we're together. In spite of our setback. Galen, you look... well warm. Do not grieve the men you lost. They will be singing your praises in the corpse hall, waiting for us. Thank you, Jarl's corner. Leif, you'd outlast any tempest. It's good to be back, Soma, all as one. And know this, that I will follow you through the eye of the storm if you called. Birna. I'm delighted you're alive. I'm delighted to be living. I lost so many after all this, but I still have you three. That makes me the most blessed warrior in Midgard. And Eivor, you have more than proven your worth. Help us reclaim our city, and you will have an ally in me. My blade is yours. For Grantbridge. We'll rest for the night. Gather our strength and our wits, and at the break of dawn's light, we retake Grand Bridge! Pass the night in our camp, Eivor. Take anything you need. Looks like more of Soma's forces followed the beacon back to camp. Galen, is that right? That's right. And you are Eivor, the infinite fighter. Forever warrior. It's a glorious name. Many thanks. You were in a tight spot when we found you. Indeed. The Saxons pursued me, ran me bloody through the swamps and into the lap of bandits. Then the wolves came. We all have our one day. The day we die. How you greet that day is all that matters. I'm proud to say that I was ready. Well, it's good to see you breathing still. Leif, Soma says you're the man who built her longships. That's right. Each has a sharp keel, a stout mast, and a poem etched into the hull to sing the praises of the Dringer who commands her. A longship is heavy with fate. Just a few lengths of wood between you and a watery grave. What better place to put a line of poetry, hmm? Agreed. It's good to fight beside you, Leif. Likewise, Ava. Thanks again for plucking me and my warriors from the mire.
The day is new, and the air is bracing. Are you ready for the fight ahead? Let's take your city back. That's what I like to hear. Meet me at the western gate of Grantbridge. We've assembled there. Have care you do not enjoy taking orders from anyone but your Jarl back home. I fight for Sigurd, none else. While you're on this ship, Dag, you fight for me. And for Soma's loyalty, we fight for her. Off we go. in search of a Jarl. We can continue later. I'm gonna up there. All right, back to the story. Some time ago, I met a wandering skald in search of a Jarl or king to serve. He had not composed a verse. His skill. I said I knew many such great men. A few Jarls, a handful of kings by name. But to my knowledge, all of them had many skulls of their own. This poor skald was disappointed and thanked me for my time, asking my name as he departed. Dog Nith is on, I told him. The skald's eyes went wide. Dog Nith is on, he exclaimed. Of Fornberg? I nodded and said, the very man I am. The poor skald sung to the skies with joy. You are a legend among legends, he said. Let me compose a verse for master. you, if I may. Imagine my surprise at hearing such praise. But I agreed. What's wrong with so you? he began for two days composing a most lovely verse on my behalf. We'll pick up from there. Get a signal and not a moment before. Wakeman must know we're here. As he should. I will reason with him. He will reject my offer of peace, and our conversation will have a surprise ending. Turn Grandbridge to me, Wigmund. No more of our people need die. We may talk this out, lord to lord. Ha <laughs> ha! What are we to talk about? You have nothing I need. Worth by birth, even. I was born a noble. You were plucked from a giant's armpit. I built this town. From a mud hut to a thriving port. And we both know you'll bleed those riches dry without my guiding hand. Leave! Go die in the muck where you belong, heathens! Wigman, Wigman, let's try one final time! Quit Grantbridge! And when she is mine once more, I may spare your life! Ha! I command Grantbridge! I am master here! And I will scour you rats from this land like rot from a festering wound! Let me give you some advice, old bear! The surest way to stop a wound from festering isn't with a blade. It's with fire. Come now! Dames of Brambridgeshire! Retake what's yours! Look at Grandbridge. What has Wigman done to him? No 
no time for that. You must free her first. Hide from me forever! Come face your death! Heathen eels! Wigmund is gone! He's gone! <laughs> <laughs>
Hoffman dies. Your plague-ridden body feed my fields. Eivor, to me. No sign of Wickman here. He may be hiding within the city walls. Shall we search? No. He'll be gone. Count on it. Argar coward. But we've struck a bold claim today. Walk with me. I want you to sound our battle horn to announce our victory. Let all the Shire know that Grandbridge is retaken. The sound of the horn means prosperity, long life, bounty. Why me? Why? Like I was telling you. Why not? You were the keystone to this attack. You turned the tide. Let the wind from your lungs breathe life back into my city. My clan throws the best feasts, I think you'll find. You enjoy yourself? I did. But were you celebrating or mourning? You looked unsure. The night of the attack, I heard sounds of bloodshed coming from the Longhouse. In moments, the city was overrun with Saxons, so I called a retreat. We all have our one day, but not like that. Not that day. I have heard this before, that the Saxons appeared as if from the shadows. In all my time in Grantbridge, this tunnel was my most careful project. 
The best kept secret in the city. Now a hundred or more Saxons know the smell of it. The only people who knew about this tunnel were me, and the three in my inner circle. <laughs> 